Everybody, welcome to Boots and G's Riders. We're back in the parking lot. What we're going to cover today is pulling in a parking space. Because we see people having problems pulling in a parking space. One of the problems I see a lot is they pulling in too fast, too hot, wrong angle, and forward and back. And we're going to discuss two ways for pulling in a parking space. We're going to discuss forward. Now, when you're doing this, there are some challenges in pulling in parking spaces. We just have an empty parking lot right here, so it's pretty cool. But one of the challenges are, what if it's on a decline that you definitely don't want to pull in? That's about the time you might want to back in. And I personally think backing in is safer. So when you have to pull out, there's less you have to do. And we're going to jump on the bike and kind of discuss these things. So another challenge with the parking space is going too far in. When you're parking, you want your bike to be whether you're pulling in forward or reverse, right here, even with cars. The reason is, if vehicles come in here and they see an empty parking spot, they may pull in and run into your bike if it's too far in because they didn't know a bike was there. You, know, you got some crazy drivers. And what I'm going to show you today applies to both pulling in right and left, just to make it easier, to make it easy for you. That's all we're going to do. So we're going to jump on the bike and talk about that now. Now, you got to be aware, if you're in a parking space, if there was cars all over here, then you definitely want to make sure, make sure that you're not fixated on getting to that parking space. As you can see, I have two cones here representing the parking space that I will be pulling into. So you got to be aware of cars backing out, other vehicles trying to get to the space that you've seen. So don't be so fixated on that space to where you're not paying attention to cars in a busy parking lot. So I'm going to jump on the bike real quick, run down here, and go through the advantages of pulling forward and reverse. Now, I would suggest if you have an empty space like this, then do a pull through, and that way you can face out. But I'm going to show you some of the challenges people have when they're pulling out and trying to back in. Now, I'm going to do pulling in forward first and show you some of the challenges people have. Now, if you come in forward, you want to stay all the way over to the left. I mean to the right if you're going to the left. Because some people come in too early, and here's what will occur. They're right here, and now they're coming in too hot or too early. They have to hit that front brake, which you should not be doing, and stumbling, trying to walk their way into a parking space. So here's the problem. Now, I'll get off and show you. The bike is on an angle when I could have easily pulled in straight. So what you want to do is swing that bike out, then pull in. Wing the bike out, then pull in the parking space. Okay, I'm going to do it again and show you what I'm talking about. And this really do not require a lot of leaning. In fact, if you ride in a friction zone, then you should not have a problem pulling in there. Just go slow. You know, the walking pace of a friction zone, you ride in a friction zone, the walking pace, it's no faster than four miles an hour. Just go slow. I'm going to get out here as far as I can. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera. I'm going to turn, not even lean the bike. Just turn in and let the bike guide me in. And I go straight in. And I'm stopping about right here. Now, when Cake and I ride together, one of us will pull forward and the other person will pull to the side. See right here? If a car was coming down here, this could be okay. But I might want to pull my bike out just a little bit more so they can see there's an object in here they may not know it's a bike but at least they're not swinging in and hitting the rear end of my bike so that's just backing it that's just pulling forward so let's do a backing right now and the same thing apply the challenge is the same thing apply if i'm planning on backing in then i gotta make sure that it is not going to be hard for me to pull out or back in. Got to make sure it's not on an incline. Now, here's the problem people have when they're backing in. They'll wait till they get right here. They see the parking spot, and they'll pull over here. And now, I'm going to show you the angle. They're on an angle. Even though I'm relatively close, even though I'm relatively close, I can just back in, turn my wheel, and back in. However, if you got this friction zone and slow riding down you don't even have to go on an angle this much 
So here's what I would suggest. As you come into this parking spot, you see it. And uh, it, it works the same on both sides. Start making your turn right here. And as you make your turn right here, you will line yourself up here to go straight back or relatively straight to where you don't have to worry about repositioning your wheel every single time. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this angle, nothing. But why make it hard when you can make it easy for yourself? So we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna do this again, going in the same direction. Then I'm gonna do it going the opposite direction where the parking space will be on my right hand side. So here we go. So remember, you wanna start your turn one space before. So I start my turn right here. Going slow, I'm not really leaning, I'm just going slow. My bike kind of relatively straight up. I'm going here and I can back in. Now I wanna look over my shoulder to make sure it's clear before I start moving, but I can back in right now without really worrying about moving my wheel. If I just need to move it, I need to move it a little bit. I don't have to keep cranking it if it's I was on an angle. So why make it hard for yourself? Make it easy. You back in and you say, now you can see vehicles with your peripheral vision. You don't have to keep looking back all the time or use your mirror. You know, you're backing in, I'm backing in, I'm backing in. And if you call for cars, I'll park probably about right here. And because I'm in the middle, to me, this is perfect. And when I want to pull out, it just makes it even easier. Okay, let's say I want to go to the right. I just use all my, I'll just pull up a little bit. I use all my, my, my skills and I don't want to cross into that lane. I start leaning the bike a little bit, give it some power, release, foot up immediately, let it fall, and let it go. And that's it. So I'm gonna do one more, except I'm gonna do it coming from the opposite direction if the parking lot, the parking space was on my right. Now I still gotta consider crossing traffic because it's on my right. So I see it here. So what I'm gonna do is start my turn one space before I even get to the parking space. Nice smooth stop. And all I have to do is back in. That is it. Now obviously the easiest way to park if you wanna back in is find a spot that you can pull all the way through. If you decide to pull in forward and there's nobody in front of you, go through that space and pull all the way through. So that's what I wanted to cover for today. Just parking, because I see a lot of people coming in way too hot, jamming on those brakes and almost dropping their bike. Take it slow, take it nice and smooth, spin out wide if you need to and pull in. And the best way to park, just for exit purpose, is backing in. So go out there and practice this and you really don't need no cones. So another thing you don't need cones for, everything you do, you don't need cones, people. We got riding, remember, Ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.